hey guys welcome back to a new after a tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to create this typewriter animation so let's get started okay guys let's start with a new composition and i will call this typewriter x animation and let's go with full hd resolution and 10 second duration now hit ok now we need to add our text so let's go to by select the text tool i'm gonna type uh, typewriter okay after that let's press ctrl alt home on a keyboard and i will align it using the line tool if you don't see this go to windows and here you can find the line tool now uh, let's go to windows uh, effect and preset here you can search typewriter by the way guys uh, you need to update uh, you after waiting to new uh, version 23 i think uh, here you can find this blinking typewriter console so make sure you update your after effect if you haven't done it yet so after that let's drag and drop this into a text like this now as you can see when we go through the timeline we can see this nice typewriter animation now let's select this text press u this will reveal our keyframe now uh, we can also change these letters so let's go one second and 20 frame forward and here i will create a keyframe now let's go few frame forward here i will set this to zero now let's go again and let's set this back to 100 again okay in this position we can change the font so let's go to typewriter font and here we can see this text option here we can animate the source text so let's create a keyframe and let's go a few frame forward here i will type something different in this case i will type animation now if you go through this as you can see it typed different font just like this to school right okay that's perfect by the way if you guys want different uh, cursor shapes you can also find here as you can see i will stick with this one okay let's add some different effect to get some digital look to do that let's select this typewriter text layer and let's go to effect and preset and let's search for cc ball action effect and I will, I'm going to double click this so it will apply. And here I will set the bow size to maybe around 40. And let's reduce the grid spacing to 3. As you can see now we have this digital look. Looks good. Let's also add some tint effect. And I will double click to apply. Let's give some different color you guys can choose any color you want and i will go with this green color okay looks pretty good yeah i like it now let's add some glow so let's search for glow effect and i'm gonna double click again you guys can play with the glow radius and glow intensity i will reduce a bit as you can see it has some different digital effect now let's also add some bevel effect so i'm gonna search for bevel alpha effect here i will set the light intensity to one and also let's reduce the edge thickness as you can see it has some different effect you guys can increase the edge thickness to get this nice looking uh, digital dots okay I will give it maybe 25 for now I think pretty cool now that's all for effect now if you press space bar as you can see now we have this nice looking typewriter animation in after it. and that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys like this and if you have any question or request let me know in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next one have a great day.